First comes out of Galatians chapter six, verse nine. And our topic is never give up, never give in. Our assistant dean, Bishop Dr. Reginald Benjamin Chaplin. Please take us away. Thank you, His Excellency Dakar. And it's a blessing to be back this time on a Tuesday morning to share with you just a brief message from the Word of God. So bow with us quickly in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this opportunity, uh, the second work day of this week that you've given us to be with your people again. We thank you for the word. You, you declared your word has gone out. It will not return to you void, but it shall conquer and it will accomplish everything, even the very purpose whereunto you send it. Well, send your word today, give your word to your people and help us to be doers of that word and not hearers only by applying it to our lives and sharing it with somebody else. We ask this by faith in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, His Excellency Dakar has already given you our scripture, which is Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and it reads, And let us not get tired of doing what is right, for after a while we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't get discouraged and give up. And herein is where we get our subject or topic for today from. Never give up, never give in. And there are three people that I want to use as a form of testimony that I believe that if they were here and in this context, they will also give you the words of encouragement. Never give up. Never give in. The first one. I don't know if you've ever heard of Lee Iacocca, but back in the late 70s, Chrysler Corporation was, was facing bankruptcy almost went out of business with thousands of jobs on the line. What, are you, what do I mean by that? You're talking about thousands of people who would have to apply for unemployment. But they heard about this exec over in the Ford Motor Company named Lee I. Coker. And so they decided to recruit him and hire him to help them save their company. And guess what? He did just that. He instilled in them a sense of worth, value, uh, hard work, denying yourself for the greater cause. And in 1979, I can see it today, even in my mind, looking at it on TV back then, Lee R. Coker coming down a winding stairway of the Chrysler Corporation talking as he descended. And he was saying stuff like integrity, quality, sacrifice, hard work, the kind of stuff America is made of. And that's the kind of stuff that he helped instill into the people from the top management all the way down to the lowest worker. And they bought into it. They believed in what he was perpetuating and look what they did. In less than seven years, they had paid off all their debt, completely out of debt and they had made so much money. This is what I'm saying. His bonus, Lee I. Akoka bonus was $15 million. That's in 1979. That's a lot of money then. Think how much money it was back in 1979. And if Lee I. Akoka was here today, yeah, he, he's dead and gone now. But if he could be here today, he would tell you, never give up. Never give in. He had that. He, he instilled that into the workers of the Chrysler Corporation. And look, they are still a corporation today. That was my first. Let me give you the second one. The second person I want to use as a testimony is Les Brown. I don't know how many of you have heard of him, but he's very, very well known. He is a self-made millionaire. He didn't start out that way. He had meager beginnings. He was born on the ground floor of an abandoned apartment building along with his twin brother to a crackhead mom. And the woman that he calls his mom was not his biological mom, but she adopted him and his brother. She raised them. She taught them. 
She even taught them about God. She taught them how to be decent, law-abiding citizens. She took them to church. She taught them how to be hard workers. And he testified. I'm talking about Liz Brown. He testified personally that the second best thing that ever happened to him was running into Professor Johnson because that woman adopting them and, and, and raising them was the best thing he said that ever happened to him. Now, how could Pro Professor Johnson be the second best thing? Well, when he was in school, he was in the slow end of the track because he had a learning disability. And so one day before school started, he went in Pro Professor Johnson's class to talk to and to chop it up with and chew the cud with his best friend. But Professor Johnson happened to have come back in before Les left out. And as soon as he walked in, he looks at Les and tells him, go to the board and work out that math problem that I already got listed. So Les tells him, sir, I'm not in your class and prepare to walk out. But Professor Johnson said, I don't care. Go to the board and work out that problem. So Les decided he would pull an ace, if you will, figuratively speaking, out of his, out of his pocket and say, well, sir, I can't because I am M-E-R. And the professor was like inquisitive. What is that? And Les says, I am mentally, educationally retarded. And so stone face with a poker face, the professor looked at him and said, son, who told you that? Let's respond to my teacher, sir. So he looked at him with, without a smile on his face, being as serious as he can be and said, young man, who you are and what you're destined to be is not predicated upon what people feel about you, what they think about you, or what they say about you. Now get to the board and work that problem out. And let's say it revolutionized his life because it revolutionized his thinking and the thought processes. Finally, somebody believed in him. Finally, somebody saw something in him he didn't see in himself. And finally, somebody had the audacity to call out that stuff that they saw in him. And he became a different man. Remember I said a self-made millionaire, Fortune 500 companies like Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, just to name a few, will pay this man 100000 all the way up to $150,000 an hour for motivational speaking. I don't make that in a year. And he makes that in one hour. So anybody that can demand that kind of money has something to say and maybe we should listen to them. If he could be here today, he would tell you never give up, never give in. The last person I wanna use as a testimony would be Thomas Edison. Quite naturally, most people, especially in America, has heard about him. He used the scientific theory and kept meticulous note to develop the light bulb. Well, before he could invent the light bulb while he was working, on the invention, trying to develop it, his family, his friends, and the loved ones attempted their best to dissuade him by stating, man, you've tried a thousand different things and none of it worked. What makes you think that you're going to create, develop, invent this so-called light bulb with so many failures? His reply was, easy. I know a thousand things that does not work. What was he saying? I've tried a thousand things. I've kept meticulous notes and I'm going to keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying without trying the thousand things that I know that don't work until I find something that do works. And guess what? He did it. And he's in the history books. Where's his family? That wife those family members, those loved ones, those friends, where are they? They're not in the history books, but he is. Why? Because if he, in his tenacity, could be here today, he would tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Never give up. Never give in. So this is how I want to close the message for today. Let me close with an excerpt from a speech that was delivered by Winston Churchill as the headmaster of Harrow School on October the 29th, 1941. Here's some of the things that he said in his closing remark. But for everyone, surely, 
what we have gone through in this period, I am addressing myself to the school. Surely from this period of 10 months, this is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 never give up. Never give in. God bless you. Bishop, Dr. Reginald Benjamin Chaplin, thank you for listening. And back to our co-host, His Excellent Dakar. Absolutely. Thank you, Assistant Dean Bishop, Dr. Reginald Benjamin Chaplin, for that wonderful message. It was our verses this morning was Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And our topic was never give up, never give in. And that was such a wonderful um, message that you had for us to never give up and never give in. And you brought up Les Brown and how, how he had very humbling beginnings and it took um, his teacher um, to believe in him. Um, that He said he, he had mental um, disabilities and that's the reason why he couldn't succeed and his teacher motivated him to keep going. And then he also brought up uh, the inventor of the light bulb <laughs> and uh, they, and people said he was a failure, but he says, no, it's not that I failed. It's just I learned so many ways not to do it. And eventually now, we're, now, we're, now I have all these lights on around me because of that invention, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and also you, you, you brought up uh, Winston Churchill and that phenomenal speech he did in, in 1942 never give up never 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 give up and never 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 give in so that's that was a wonderful message and i hope that that you all are listening are inspired if you want to start a business if you uh want to uh, do go for different jobs if you want to get a, a raise you deserve it never give up never give in the, the least, you, the, the, the worst they can say is no. The, the R, you can be like the inventor of the light bulb. The least you can do is learn what doesn't work so you can do what works. So take that in, <laughs> into consideration. <laughs> so thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. I do want to rem remind you that tomorrow we do have our Wednesday Icon Talk. May 2021 Empower You Conference Part 2, Master Class 5. And we are going to learn COVID-19 preventions and updates with interviewer Dr. Rachel Turgeman and our interviewee, medical doctor Eric J. Pazeski, medical doctor, and he is a God Jew Jewish chaplain. You can join us at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see the information on the screen, how to join. And we have our outstanding global workers as well. Our Assistant Dean Bishop Dr. Reginald Benjamin Chaplin is also one. So you definitely don't want to miss it. I also want to remind you to please like comment, subscribe, and share to everyone. Need a custom prayer? Send a prayer request to sisterofstrength.us. I am yours truly, your MC and co-host, His Excellency Dakar. I am Director of Operations at Guide U, and I'm the CEO of Dakar Marketing Tools, which is an international graphic and printing company providing you with all of your marketing needs to help you and your company grow. Our popular products are branded rings, branded pins, branded golf shirts, branded jackets. You can see us wearing them throughout the week. We also have Guide You African American History Bibles, which feature your name, picture, and bio as well as historical african american in the fields of being an astronaut in civil rights education literature 
entrepreneurs, medicine, scientists, inventors, religious leaders, military, sports, Hollywood, music, entertainment, government and politics, and blacks in the Bible. In addition, we provide merchandise that is crucial to your business's success, such as our magazines, banners, flyers, digital business cards, and printed business cards. Innovative tools, you can turn your brick and mortar into an e-commerce platform. During this time of constant Zoom meetings and webinars, we at Dakar Marketing Tools want to make sure you're prepared with our Zoom for Profits course. Some of the offered courses are how to make money doing Zoom, Zoom Essentials, Zoom Basics, and turning your brick and mortar into an e-commerce platform. It's on demand. You can see how to register for that today. Also, we want you to be sure to register for our graduation and empower you conference. You can see the latest edition on the screen. Be sure to register. We look forward to seeing you there. But I want to remind you at this time to please stay tuned as we do have some more information that follows. Thank you. Global Ovid Day Seminary and University God to You is a 501c3 interfaith e-learning Global Florida Department of Education Commission of Independent Studies approved degree issuing religious institution of higher learning under Florida Statute 1005.061F in Miramar, Florida, a suburb of Fort Lauderdale suburbs. Our curricula include programs like our theology diploma, bachelor's, master's, and PhD programs, which are designed for students called to the ministries of teaching and preaching. Program enrollees include pastors, evangelists, missionaries, and laypersons. Our additional courses, entrepreneurial studies, premier self-development courses on wealth building. We also offer a mini course for youth, the junior ambassador youth public speaking to gain prof professional and personal skills. Chaplaincy Diploma, Love and Spiritual Interfaith, and Christian Programs. Chaplains are trained, certified leaders attached to either a religious and or non-religious institution or organization. Cybersecurity IT Courses. Our licensed instructor has a 95% pass rate compared to the 30% national average for CompTIA accredited courses, such as Security Plus and Network Plus. 40% of our alum who've gone through our prestigious God's You Honors programs have also previously matriculated through their earned doctorate programs. Our alum include physicians, ambassadors, statesmen and stateswomen, icons and billionaires, religious leaders, titans in business, global philanthropists such as Ambassador of Ghana to the United States, His Excellency Dr. Bafour A.J. Bewa, Ambassador of Nigeria to the United States, His Excellency Dr. Sylvanas Musafor, Billionaire Builder and Dean, His Excellency Dr. Michael V. Roberts, Former Maritime Minister, Government of Nigeria, Honorable Dr. Leke Olawale. Our world-class and esteemed professors include Attorney Her Excellency Reverend Dr. Diane Moore Eubanks, Ph.D. Chancellor, Physician Dr. Eric Bizetsky, Clinical Health and Nutrition and God's You Medical Expert. Physician Her Excellency Rhoda Makinde, PhD Chief Medical Doctor, God's You, Medical Missions. Dean Michael V. Roberts, JD, PhD, Dean of Entrepreneurship Studies. Dean Kyra Eubanks, Dean of Junior Ambassador. Professor Willis Eubanks, PhD, Dean of Cybersecurity Program. Professor Imam Dr. Talib Sharif. Professor Interfaith Program and Chaplaincy, Professor Reverend Dr. William Blake Theology Program Curriculum Development, Professor His Excellency Dakar Ethical and Successful Marketing Techniques, Entrepreneurial Studies.